jump ball. And that is Simeon Kirkland who wins the tip with ease. And now here's Daniel Sackey. Who really is the floor general and he finds his man, Simeon Kirkland, right on cue, two nothing UNO. Good pass there to Kirkland. Kirkland, the big man down low, has that advantage over Hinton. Now here's Roscoe McFarlane, Gus Okafor from deep, good look, no good. Clear show on the offensive rebound. Could not get the put back to go, but it will still be Southeastern basketball. Tip your cap to Claire Joe right there. Great offensive board. Yeah, standing at just 6'1", he's got great hops, but, I mean, he really skied over a bigger player for that offensive rebound, and that's really just grit and effort. Burkhart taking it out. Risky pass there. Now Burkhart back to Roscoe Eastman as he looks to take his man on. He's got to pick up his dribble, and here's Hinton. And Hinton makes a move. Nice move, no finish, and now UNO has numbers, and they're going the other way. Close, but no cigars there for Hinton on that last possession. Beautiful look and beautiful shot. Just couldn't get it to fall to the bottom of the cup. And Troy Green for the Privateers comes of no good on that one. Here's Clearjo, a nice pull-up jumper, but leaves it short. Now Saki thought about driving to the rim, kicks it back out. Now a beautiful drive and dish, Saki for three, all net. And the Privateers take an early 5-0 lead. You would know a great baseline drive there to kick it out to the open man. He flushes him with the three. See if Southeastern can answer as they're still scoreless, almost two minutes of play. Now here's Hinton, he's really their X factor. As Okafor is their lead scorer, but Hinton perhaps their most talented player. Now here's Claire Show rises for the triple. Oh, net! Trading triples by the Privateers and Lions. The rim was not hit on either of those shots. That's how good they were. And Okafor with a nice steal, cutting in front of the passing lane. And here's Claire Show trying to make it happen. Gus Okafor, beautiful defensive steal right there. Good pump fake by him too right there. Look at the big man. And he takes it in. Ooh, gets his own rebound, missed with the left. And that's gonna be a foul. As he took the contact from Tyson Jackson, the transfer from Middle Tennessee State. Great effort by Okafor there. See on the previous possession, Claire Joe gets an open look and he can make you pay from behind the arc as he just showed. Claire Joe really shoots the three ball well. Has a beautiful form, a beautiful stroke, too. As does Okafor on that free throw. Leading scorer from the lines. We touched on him in pregame. He's really been on a tear lately, and it's a big key to their success. Gus Okafor could really jump out the gym. You look at him, he looks like he played football, baseball, and basketball, Chase. Yeah, he's really got a nice body, very strong. You see the UNO starting lineup, led by Daniel Saki. He's really the creator, and led by others as well. Troy Brown, Robbie Robinson, Tyson Jackson. They've got talent all over the court. And for Southeastern, really the big three, Jalen Hinton, Gus Okafor, and Keon Clairja really get it done. But Burkhart is not, and Roscoe Eastman are no slouches by any means, a solid starting five. It looks like Southeastern was waiting for the foul right there, but beautiful slam by Hinton. Hinton, D2 player of the year last year at South Florida. Great transfer, good pickup by Coach Kiefer. At Florida, Florida Southern, he was a very good player in D2, leading uh, the nation in a lot of statistical categories. One thing I love about Jalen Hinton's game chase, he takes high percentage shots down low. That's a beautiful feed by Saki. I told you he's the facilitator finding Simeon Kirkland. The nice turnaround jumper. Looks like Southeastern's kind of slowing it down a little bit, going through their sets. Now Eastman, a nice little spin move. 
Burkhardt immediately with a nice pass and clear show. Finishes with the offhand, but that was created by Jalen Hinton. Great vision by the big. Tip your cap, beautiful court vision by both teams so far early. And now Simeon Kirkland travels and he'll turn it over to the Lions. The reason these two teams are atop the conference, their ability to shoot and their ability just to rely on everybody to score. You see head coach David Kiefer, this is probably his most talented team since he's been at Southeastern and they've performed well, third place in the Southland and they're starting off very well against the first place UNO Privateers. Now here's Saki, nice pump fake, penetrates back out, finds an open shooter. And that is off the mark from Troy Green, a great look. And Southeastern comes away with the ball. Now Eastman, what a dish to Okafor, cross court and that's instant offense, great pass, caught him in stride. Hit him right in the numbers and Okafor catch and shoot, you know he's gonna make it. Beautiful court vision by Roscoe Eastman right there. The Denver University transfer has been a great guard and a great ball handler so far for the Lions this season. And here's Troy Green back out to his point guard, and that's Gus Okafor. Center in his 11th season with UNO, and he's got them sitting pretty in first place, but he can't be too happy about what just occurred on the court as his team turns it over. Schlesinger did a really good job of turning around this UNO program. They've been to the big dance a couple times too, representing the Southland. Haven't mentioned Derek St. Hilaire, the leading scorer in the Southland. Been a little absent thus far. Gotta imagine he's gonna get the ball in his hands here soon. Southeastern's doing a good job of playing defense early. Now here's Claire Show. Nice pass in the corner, Eastman with a nice move, but he is rejected. Believe that was Kamani Dowdy who sent that back. If you look on Southeastern's previous possession, what a cross court pass by Roscoe Eastman. And he finds up Okafor spotted up. Speaking of Okafor, that's a shot clock violation as he has to throw it up off the backboard. And not a good possession for the Lions, but they do still lead by five. Well, in that last possession, I definitely thought Eastman was going to pull the trigger on that three ball. And here's Saki. Finding Kamani Dowdy. Back out to Saki. He's got a lot of room to shoot it off the backboard. Not a good shot as he was left open as Eastman was kind of sagging. UNO's shot selection definitely has been questionable as of late. A couple 50-50 uh, shots going up. Not really falling for him either. And wondering how that's not a foul called as Clergio took a lot of contact. But having said that, Dowdy on the other end makes some pay in transition. Now here's Hinton. And that's a turnover. As Saki pushes it up the court, but a bad giveaway. And it will be back with the Lions. We're almost seven minutes in. It's been fast break, fast break, fast break. These teams definitely going to run that a lot tonight, especially Southeastern playing with a little bit smaller lineup. And Kasper Zick checks into the game as Roscoe Eastman will take a breather. The coveted sixth man seems to always provide a spark when he's in. And he'll take the ball out. Dribble drive, hand off to Burkhart. And Burkhardt's gonna be hacked, and that'll be a foul on Kamani Dowdy. And UNO has Jamel Myers checking in now. And Simeon Kirkland will make way. Kirkland definitely made the Lions feel that size advantage early as he scored the first couple baskets for the Privateers. Get him on the bench, get him a little water, get him refreshed, and maybe back in later this half. Casper's looked like he almost walked, but Claire Joe shoots a three and that's not gonna go. And here's St. Hilaire. It makes its way to Jamel Myers. Now with Troy Green back to St. Hilaire, guarded by Casper And St. Hilaire loses the ball on his own. Casper with the pesky defense leads to a turnover. Lions have had a Led to a couple turnovers so far, playing great defense. That's something you don't want to see if you're Coach Schlesinger, though, if you're 
conference leading scorer, St. Hilaire. Yeah, and speaking of St. Hilaire, only seven minutes into the game, but he has not taken a shot. Kind of head scratching, really, for UNO. They do get a steal, and now in transition, speaking of that man, St. Hilaire rises for the tray, can't get it to go, but an offensive board, glass cleaner, room service for Jamel Myers. Good second chance points right there by the privateers. That's something you definitely want as you want to take that lead here in Hammond. You know, cutting the lead to one. And here's Claire Joe. Picked up by Troy Green, an interesting matchup. He finds Okafor, gets his man in the air, gives it up to Hinton. And Hinton finds Burkhardt, beautiful shot fake, finds Claire Joe wide open in the corner, off the mark. Usually Clairejo knocks that down, but he can't get it to go. And now here's St. Hilaire. Beautiful ball moving by the Lions in that last possession. And a great shot by UNO. And that's Jamel Myers. Great find by St. Hilaire. He garners so much attention, brings in two players, dishes it to the wide open Myers, who is all net on that 12-footer. Quite nicely is the junior from Cape Coral, Florida. Big contribution to Myers off the bench early. Your coach Schlesinger, you gotta love that for UNO. And Kasperzik, on the other hand, knocks down the first free throw, trying to break the deadlock. He's a 6'3 junior from New Haven, Connecticut. He's the energizer bunny of this Southeastern team. And he's a really, really vital part to what they try to do. Looks like a double team here early by Southeastern. You gotta like what you see so far. St. Hilaire breaks it and finds a shooter. Decides against it. Now some nice ball movement, a turnaround is good. That is Simi and Kirkland, as he's been a problem, already has six points. Just sitting on that low block, catching the ball, pivoting and just hook, hook shotting it. And he's been successful at doing it. Coach Schlesinger relying on, on big number 11, Simi and Kirkland down low with that size advantage. And Claire Joe drives baseline, finds Kasperzik open in the corner, can't get the roll. And now here's St. Hilaire. And he throws a lob, almost went in inadvertently, but Claire Joe's got it and they got numbers. Gus Okafor in transition, left it well, well short. Kind of a disappointing outcome. The Southeastern had a number of inches. And St. Hilaire coast to coast. What a beautiful finish as he shot out of a cannon and really maneuvered through that entire Southeastern defense for the finish. St. Hilaire, high explosive player here for the Privateers. Now Okafor, beautiful as he gets inside of the big man, Simeon Kirkland, showing you his strength that we mentioned earlier. What a tough finish. Good finish by Okafor right there. Played big boy ball and got the reward. And now down low, losing the ball is Simeon Kirkland. A turnover and Claire Joe bringing it up the court. Now Okafor with the ball. And here's Jalen Hinton, been a little quiet so far. Kasperzik, a floater off the back iron. Probably not the best look for the Lions. And now he picks up St. Hilaire. And that's gonna be a steal from Jalen Hinton. And he feeds it to Okafor, coast to coast, and he gets the lay up the ball. Great defense right there by Jalen Hinton. Even a better pass to Gus Okafor. Gotta love that possession if you coach Keith and the Lions. Casper's getting his hand on the ball. St. Hilaire, a nice step back cross. Filthy move. And that finds the bottom of the net as UNO regains the lead. And he shows you right there why he needs a south and points per game. Just a beautiful shot by St. Hilaire. Yeah, he's great at creating separation as Kasperzik's a really good defender and he just kind of left him for dead with that crossover step back. And now St. Hilaire with a nice dish and the shot's way off the mark by Troy Green and now Hinton's bringing it the other way. Okafor thought about a three, puts his head down and nearly turns it over, and a nice save out of bounds by Troy Green. And he gives it, he gives it up to Kamani Dowdy, who is fouled. 
You see, take a look at the last possession for the Lions. Great. Pitton just showing you his length. He's so lanky. Even as an undersized big, he thrives at getting steals and blocks. And he set that play up for Okafor, who's the leading scorer. It looks like Max Brackman's checking in here for Southeastern, the big seven-footer. Gotta love that, the big seven-plus-footer from Germany. He certainly is a presence. See if he can make an impact on this game. And a beautiful dish by Troy Green, finding Tyson Jackson. Nice looking play and move, and the privateers go up by three. Beautiful pick by Max Brackman up there high. Kasperzik, yes sir. Sheesh, Joe Kasperzik. Sheesh indeed, partner, beautiful three. String music from the sixth man, and we're knotted at 23. Now here's Troy Green, gives it up to Dowdy, who rises for the triple. That's well off the mark. And now Kasperzik darts ahead, and he drives. Almost finishes. Shouts of and one from the bench. Maybe some contact, no call. And now we are back in fourth as UNO's in transition. And Troy Green comes up short, and Kasperzik again. And a try. Juco transfer from Dodge City, native of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, checking into the game, and he does make cash in in the second. And now a little bit of a press. Is Kasperzik up in Hilaire's grill? At first, it looked like Southeast was going to double the ball handler, but it looks like they kind of relaxed at that. It took a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. We'll see if Coach Schlesinger can draw something up. And now St. Hilaire. Finds Sackey, who gives it up to Rodney Carson Jr. Here's St. Hilaire, makes his move. Dishes it off to Dante Bell. And it looks like that's gonna be a wall. The Lions definitely fired up at home as look at Coach Kiefer's squad. Everybody on the bench up on their feet cheering. Deontay Bell with the travel, and now here's Kasperzik. They're very comfortable with him bringing the ball up the court. And Hinton finds his spot. He loves that wing. And he eyes up his defender and nails the jumper. As you mentioned earlier, Chase, Joe Kasperzik coming off the bench, already providing five points for his squad. You got to love that if you coach Kiefer. Nice to break the press by Saki. Nearly thrown away by Tyson Jackson. The ball's back out to Saki. No harm, no foul. Jackson now with Brackerman in his face. Fine. Oh, what a swat by Jalen Hinton. Rejecting Deontay Bell. And now Hinton gets the ball. Dribble drive off the mark. And now Daniel Sackey going the other way for the privateer. Gives it to his leading scorer, St. Hilaire. And St. Hilaire off the dribble drive. No good. Oh, and a... Kind of a dangerous fall there. Great effort by Rodney Carson Jr. on the offensive rebound. Kind of fell awkwardly. Good to see him immediately get up to his feet. Great defense early by both squads. They're staying in the ball handler's face and just sticking with him. And you see a lot of good defense so far. Hey, what a beautiful block that was. And Carson Jr. is no good on the free throws. Both teams make a couple of changes. If I'm Coach Kiefer, I'm kind of eyeing down Simeon Kirkland right here, number 11, checking back in. Definitely had that size advantage. Maybe not with Brackman in, though. Maybe not size, but you'd certainly expect him to have the quickness on Brackman, or Brackerman. Like to see that matchup. And Kasperzik bringing it up now. As his team leads by two. And a little out of control, but he is fouled. Very quick is Joe Kasperzik. Kasperzik's just so quick. You either get behind him and foul him, or you get in front of him and just shoot in your face. And that's going to be on Rodney Carson, the transfer from Combine Academy, native of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And Kasperzik all net on that first free throw. Kasperzik's been that sixth man for David Kiefer this season, doing a good job this season. 
coming off the bench and providing a spark on both offensive and defensive side of the ball. Hey, the 75% shooter from the charity stripe shows you why. Goes two for two. And the Lions are up by four. Now here's St. Hilaire. Step back three between the legs, off the mark, but a nice rebound by UNO. And I believe that was Tyson Jackson putting in work on the offensive glass. And Southeastern deflected out of bounds and will remain with UNO on this end of the court. St. Hilaire, a little questionable shot on that last possession. You definitely had a lot of time left on the shot clock. You could have relied on your teammates. Aspers are nearly going the other way with the steal. Cannot get it. And Saki rises over Brackerman. Don't know how he got the shot off. And Simeon Kirkland cleans it up. Second chance boards. Kind of piling up here for the privateers as Kasperzik, a little Euro and finishes showing the elevation. What a move. Kasperzik definitely has bunnies on him. He can get up there and get up high. And they're gonna have a foul. And that is gonna be on Kasperzik. And Jalen Hinton is subbing back in. Casper's like, we'll take a break. A well-deserved one at that. See here, the Euro step and then elevates for the finish. His head was almost at the rim there, Cardinal. Now Brockman on defense against Kirkland. Does enough to throw him off. And now here's Roger McFarland finds Okafor. Pump fakes on Kirkland. Now here's Hinton. Finds McFarland. No good from three, but McFarland chases down his own rebound. Great effort there. And Roscoe Eastman comes away with it back to McFarland. Beautiful reset right here by the Lions offense. Let's see what they can draw up here. Maybe get it down low to Bragman. And Hinton finds Okafor, who rises off the back rim. And that's no good. And now St. Hilaire looking to push the pace as he's surrounded by two Lions. Does find Saki. And Saki pulls up from mid-range, off the rim. Score remains 30, the 26 Southeastern with the ball in the four-point edge. Okafor, beautiful drive, but left it short. Hinton does gather the rebound. And now Eastman looking to reset. Brockman on the screen. Game, and he is certainly a problem, but Southeastern's done a fairly good job on him so far in this first half. Chase, they're doing a good job of containing St. Hilaire, not really giving him a lot of high percentage shots. The shots he is taking are a little bit risky and some of them are falling. But if you're Coach David Keefe, you gotta love what your squad's doing on him defensively. And a beautiful cut by Saki, but he cannot finish through the sea of Lions. Southeastern's identity all season has been offense, but they're playing great defense here tonight that you see as Eastman gets up there. Eastman showing you the quickness as he finishes with his left hand. Darting to the to the rim. Eastman has been a pleasure to watch this season for the Lions. He's their main ball handler. The offense runs through his hands, and he does a good job. He's cat-like quick. And here's St. Hilaire feeding Jackson, but a steal. And that's Eastman throwing it ahead of McFarland. It's St. Oh, and a rejection. But it falls out to Eastman. Can't get the three to go. Loose ball. St. Hilaire going for it. Okafor takes it from him. Caldwell back out to Eastman. Nice dish to McFarland, and he does get it to go. Great ball movement led to that score right there. The Lions just playing with pleasure and giving everybody the ball. Great effort there on the offensive rebound. The Southeastern never gave up on that possession, and really their persistence paid off. And now a double team on St. Hilaire gives it wide open to Saki, and a loose, not really a loose pass, but just could not handle by Kirkland. And Hinton comes away with the steal. And Hinton finds wide open Nick Caldwell. And that's off the mark. Good look for him, newly checked into the game. Can't get it to fall. Can't be mad at that shot selection. Beautiful look, wide open, beautiful shot. St. Hilaire, risky shot, but gets it to fall as the score is 34 -28. Nothing's risky when you're the leading scorer in the Southland partner. And that was contested, really smothered, but good offense beats good defense. Now Okafor, beautiful find by Eastman. Thought he might pull the trigger on that three. 
And now he's sizing up Tyson Jackson, takes him to the hoop and takes the contact. No good, but he will be going to the line for two. You never want to send Gus Okafor to the strike. He's going to make it pay. Let's see how many he can walk away with right here. Gus Okafor, an 80% free throw shooter from the line. Something to note is point guard for Southeastern Keon Clairjo. As his shoes he's wearing out there on the court tonight are a part of BME Charitable Organization. It's basically a network of innovators, leaders, and champions who invest in the inspiring community. That's something you can always do cool in sports. You kind of make a statement without saying anything as he gets to wear his own special made shoes here tonight at the UC. Gotta love that. As Okafor sinks both free throws. And UNO finding themselves down eight. Number one team in the Southland. And the Lions are giving them all they can handle. I've mentioned it before, but Southeast are just playing amazing defense here early. And second chance, no good, but Caldwell just falls off his hands out of bounds. Not sure how he couldn't come up with that defensive board. But you see the just the bunnies from St. Hilaire. I mean, did you see how long he hung in the air? He like lost the ball, got it back mid-jump and still managed to get a shot off. No good, but really a freak athlete. Definitely a talented athlete in St. Hilaire. Well, this first half has gone by quite quick. His coach, uh, Mark Schlesinger, in his 11th year, takes a timeout for UNO. Like I said, find themselves down by eight. Southeastern couldn't have asked really for a better first half. Still 48 seconds to play. To see if they can get this lead to double digit. St. Hilaire, great crossover right there. Stayed in the air a while. Beautiful layup by him. Yeah, St. Hilaire, the transfer from Jacksonville State, a native of Atlanta, Georgia. Coach Schlesinger is going to love to have him on his side when it comes to Southland Conference Tournament time, Chase. Yeah, and really, especially, you see this in March Madness, guard play usually wins you games and certainly are probably the best guard in all of the Southland Conference. He's a little bit bigger guard that plays high explosive basketball. And now a deep three from him in and out. And that's going to be a loose ball foul on UNO. I believe that's on Jamel Myers. And it is, and Southeastern in the bonus now. So Jalen Hinton will go to shoot two, and he can extend this lead to double digits. If you and know you can't make mistakes like that as you're trying to claw your way back into this one on the road, especially when you can send him to the stripe with just a foul like that. Jalen Hinton also an 80% free throw shooter, misses the front end of the one and one. And now St. Hilaire and company have a chance to cut into this lead before halftime. Let's see what Coach Schlesinger of UNO draws up right here. Hilaire Joe playing tight to St. Hilaire, not giving him much room at all. As he's content on dribbling out this clock and settling for the last shot. There should be about a second and some change left, though, as the double team comes. And now a three's fired. Oh, and he gets the friendly roll. Southeastern had high hopes, and they're really showing their prowess early on against UNO, really matching up well with them. And we're in for a treat in the second half. See Gus Okafor here starting out for the line. Okafor started out really, really hot in that first half, scoring on a tear and at ease. And now here's Claire Joe dribble drive. What a rejection! from Troy Green, who flexes his muscles. But it will stay with the Lions. Nice defensive play there. Troy Green definitely barking a lot after that block. But you are down on the scoreboard, Troy. <laughs> Interestingly enough, Troy Green is a native of St. Rose, Louisiana, as Gerard Bourne is himself. And that's just a poor pass from Burkhart. 
Intercepted by Saki. Okafor getting in there, but a nice dish. Good court vision by St. Hilaire, and he finds his big man, Simi and Kirkland, and he's not going to miss a wide open layup. Beautiful defensive possession last time by UNO. Turning into offensive points right there. But I do have to correct you, partner. I'm out of Norco. Thanks for the correction. As Roscoe Eastman with a beautiful scoop layup in Southeastern's back on top by five. Coach Kiefer definitely getting loud. I like that about Coach Kiefer. He's always talking to his team, walking up and down the court, pacing, always changing the game plan with him. And St. Hilaire throws it out top to Kirkland, who gives it up. And now that's an open look for Saki, who trains the triple. The transfer from Valparaiso connecting from deep. Southeastern playing a little bit slower offense right here in the second half, drawing up their sets. And let's see if Eastman can get to the cup and score. That he does. What a move by Eastman. He's so cat quick. Two early buckets here now. He comes away with the ball, falls into the UNO bench. Great effort by Eastman. It will stay with the privateers, but St. Hilaire was surrounded by three Lions defenders. Gotta love the emphasis on him as they know they're not gonna let him beat them single-handedly. And that's just a statement of the Lions defense so far tonight. You always got two or three players right in front of the ball handler. And hopefully they keep that up the whole night and get this win. And St. Hilaire looking to inbound it as he finds his point guard, Saki. And Saki to Troy Green who pulls up, in and out. Tough miss right there and Okafor pushes it up to Eastman who finds Burkhardt from his spot in the corner off the back iron, no good. In this back and forth as both these teams love to push the ball up the basketball court. And now that's going to be a foul on Tyson Jackson, who doesn't like the call by the official off the ball. And that's going to spoil UNO's offensive possession. Despite that last possession by UNO, Chase, both teams had great shots. Even though they didn't get in the fall, good looks. You got to like that. And yeah. a little miscommunication here from Eastman to Claire Joe. As he thought Claire Joe was going to cut on the baseline, Eastman says, my bad, I owe you one. Yeah, complete miscue. And one of the few turnovers from Southeastern so far. Now Saki gives the ball to Kirkland, who finds Green. Now driving baseline kick out to Saki, bang for three. UNO cuts the lead to one, and Saki's heating up from beyond the arc. Can't leave Saki open behind the three-point line. He'll make you pay, and he did right there. Here's Okafor, kicks it out. <coughs> and now it comes all the way back to Burkhardt, in and out. Burkhardt now missing back-to-back. -back. Well, not back-to-back, -back, but two threes and a handful of possessions for the Lions. And St. Hilaire dishes it out back to Saki. He's got the hot hand. And he drains the triple. Three threes for Daniel Saki. And we're not even five minutes into the first or the second half. Daniel Saki does a good job of creating space for his own shot. Three here from Claire Joe. Can't get him to pay. Claire Joe, beautiful dribble moves. Had Simi and Kirkland almost on the ground there, but. He cannot come up with the bucket. And now Troy Green, great drive. Strong uh, three-point shooter on the season. Not spectacular, but he's got a hot hand so far. Saki's just doing a good job of creating shot separation for himself, and he's rewarding himself as well, too. Claire Joe misses, and now Troy Green bringing it the other way. And he finds his man, Jamel Myers, who cannot get that to go. Okafor gets the rebound. And now ahead to Burkhardt, great find to hit and gets his defender up in the air and gets the finish. Beautiful basketball by Southeastern. Hitting the lanky forward, really can slip under there, get low in the paint, score those high percentage shots. And now here's St. Hilaire on Claire Joe. Gives it up to Saki. And now a deep mid-range is a splash for Jamel Myers. 
Left wide open and he made the defense pay, showing you that he could shoot from range as a big. Both rosters really deep and have a lot of veterans as Burkhardt takes the three and makes them pay. Throw the threes up, Ryan Burkhardt gets one to go and he ties this game at 45, five minutes into the second half. The North Florida transfer, one of the best three-point shooters in all the land. You can see it right there. A blistering 43% three-point shooter as you see St. Hilaire off the mark but a big time board from UNO and back out the open shooter Troy Green makes some pay and that was Jamel Myers I believe with the offensive board second chance points for UNO back to the action in the Southland Conference and a great inbounds pass Claire Joe with the layup good five by Burkhart a defensive breakdown right there for UNO doesn't get any easier for the Lions. I know Coach Slashinger you know, is not happy about that, those points there. On the flip side, Coach Kiefer is loving scoring off of an inbounds pass. And this game is now tied. And Troy Green, what a finish and move. With two defenders seemingly on his back. Does a little pivot and gets the roll off the glass. Nice play. This UNO roster is just so deep. Everybody thought St. Hilaire coming in would be the main guy. But it's really been Troy Green and Daniel Sackey. Yeah, Sackey already with 14 points, four of five from beyond the arc. He averages 6.8 on the year. So basically doubling his usual output. And UNO has needed other scores to step up with St. Hilaire not having a fantastic game despite still performing pretty well and Jalen Hinton with a nice move. Little Euro step and he gets it to go. Now here St. Hilaire takes the foul. Doesn't get it to go but he'll be shooting two at the line. And what a game we have unfolding before us. 49 all. UNO in first place in the Southland. Southeastern in third. Huge game for seeding rights and just regular season as well. And Southeastern needs to knock off UNO if they want to have any chance at getting the regular season crown. UNO with only one loss on the season. These two teams are definitely clawing back and forth with each other. UNO did a good job eliminating the turnover so far this half. As I see Kasper's got to check in. Maybe he energizes that offense like he did in the first half. And Roscoe McFarlane will be the sub that takes a break. And Kasperzik will bring it out, out the court with his team down by two. And he finds Jalen Hinton who makes a move. Nice rip by Hilaire. And Simeon Kirkland got the ball, but his foot was on the boundary. Not sure what he's arguing with with the referee because he had a clear view of it. Okafor takes some contact off the inbounds again, Southeastern, catching him sleeping there, getting a look under the, under the rim. It looks like Jaleel Myers did not agree with that call. Gus Okafor, kudos to you. Getting down there and getting two. Okafor averaging 15 points a game. He's been a key player for the Lions. As we mentioned him in the pregame. And he swishes that first free throw. Okafor filling up the stat sheet, 11 points, five rebounds, and one steal so far early in this one. Okafor ties the game, and Kasper's it coming up with a steal on Saki. And a nice awareness, and Hinton rises with a monster slam. Kasper's a great steal, fishes it out to Hinton. Hinton slams it down, but it looks like Claire Joe got a little excited here on defense. Yeah, what a play by Kasperzik, sticking his nose in there, ripping the pocket of Saki, going coast to coast and stopping on a dime, getting Saki and another UNO defender to fly past him, and then he smartly passes it back to the trailing Hinton for the monster slam. And now a turnover for UNO. Jamel Myers led Saki a bit too much. And Southeastern's got the ball. Myers right there, had the open shot it looked like, but he didn't, he looks like he didn't know he had the open shot right there, Chase. And now Claire Joe taking it up for Southeastern. Looking to go up by two possessions. And now he finds Okafor, almost thought about the shot. As he 
still sizes up Myers. Still Okafor, strong to the goal. Bodies flying, and that's gonna be a turnover. I'm sure Coach Kiefer would not be a fan of that possession. Okafor maybe should have gave it up, but look at this replay. Joe Kasperzik gets Myers and Saki the stop on a dime and then dishes it behind him, the, the trailing Hinton for the slam. Nothing makes the coach happier than a turnover and a turnover that leads the points. Now here's Troy Green. Working on McFarland, gives it up to Myers. Back to Green. Green physical on McFarland, that's a foul. Look like good defense. Coach Kiefer doesn't agree with it. And I'd have to probably side with him. Definitely a light foul there. It looks like McFarland was just playing good defense. Maybe the ref saw a hand, saw something we did, but right. I feel like it was a little weak call right there, partner. Right, and to me, Troy Green really initiated that contact, driving straight into <laughs> McFarland. And McFarland kind of stood his ground, but a lot of times that those 50-50s are gonna go against the defense. Let's take a look at this play again. Kasperzik with the hands, and then just the awareness, knowing somebody's gonna be trailing, and Hinton's the beneficiary. Call that one the back scratcher. Hinton always touched his back and slammed it down for two. <laughs> And Gus Okafor now take a breather, and Max Brockman will make his way into the game. And Troy Green connects. Southeastern still with a one-point lead as we near the 12-minute mark. High pick by Brockman. And now Kasperzik finds Hinton. Beautiful pass to Claire Joe, trying to give it back to Brockman. We've had ourselves a great ball game up to this point. Still 11.55 remaining. And Southeastern with a one point edge over UNO. Great back and forth Southland basketball. Both teams doing a good job this half of limiting the turnovers as Kasperzik shoots from deep and makes them pay. Kasperzik nails the triple. And now Gus Okafor makes his way to the scorer's table. Kasperzik already has 12 by his name on the stat sheet. You can always depend on him to come off the bench and really score the ball. And now a block by Jalen Hinton and a steal by Kasperzik. Loose ball, and Brockman comes away with it. Wide open is Hinton at the other end of the court, not seen. But they do come away with the rebound. And now there's a stoppage. And Okafor is going to check in. And Brockman will make his way to the bench. That was a kind of a crazy sequence right there. With Hinton coming up with the block, and then Kamani Dowdy got his own rebound and still wasn't able to convert. And then Kaspers was on the floor, and then Brockman ultimately came away with the ball. Coach Kiefer always talks about how this team is not jealous and they share the ball a lot. You can tell Southeastern's doing that tonight. That's why they have the lead. Now here's Roger McFarland finds Claire Joe who rises for three way off the mark and St. Hilaire comes away with the board. St. Hilaire needs to get fired up and going here. The privateers want to walk out of here with a W. And the double on St. Hilaire leads to a wide open triple and Dowdy makes them pay. Count it. And the lead is cut to one. See the idea there, trying to slow down St. Hilaire, the Southland's leading scorer, but he splits the double team, and his teammates are able to move the ball and find Dowdy Great. on a four on three, and he was wide open. Great ball movement right there by UNO to lead to the open three ball. Okafor for three, bang! Bang indeed, Gus Okafor, a nice step back jumper. And he sinks the triple and the leads back out the four. Okafor, death pushing P here early in the game. And that's gonna be a foul on Jalen Hinton. Jamel Myers made his move to the cup and withstood the contact. And it'll be a shooting foul. And 
Myers is just a 53% free throw shooter. He does have six points, four boards, and an assist so far. Definitely playing his part. Another one of Schlesinger's players that can come off the bench and ignite this Euro offense. And he does make the first free throw. Percentages tell us he will miss this one, but will I stand corrected? And I do. Kudos to Jamel Myers as he knocks down both free throws and cuts this game to tick. Now Kasperzik makes a strong move to the cup. A little finger roll by Kasperzik. You gotta like it. Drives it to the cup himself. Baby Jesus is cooking in hand. That he is. And now St. Hilaire and company. Again, there's a double. And McFarley with the steal, coast to coast, can't finish. A tough break, and St. Hilaire's back with it, cannot capitalize off the turnover. And what a no-look pass by St. Hilaire, and a reverse finish by Tyson Jackson. He's going to his arm, saying he was fouled, but he will get the shot to go. Beautiful feed from St. Hilaire. Great turn of events here for both teams. Just good possessions, good steals, playing some good basketball here. Now Okafor dancing a bit with his defender, finds Hinton in a nice strip there from Jamel Myers. And now Troy Green coast to coast in transition. Here at Southeastern. Would definitely be a great feat for this program. And now here's Troy Green with UNO. Gives it up to St. Hilaire. Back to Green and UNO playing a little slower here. And now Green fires off the mark, but an offensive board and a foul. As a privateer goes flying, that is Kamani Dowdy putting in work on the glass. And he gets fouled and will be shooting too. Dowdy did a good job getting low and drawing the foul. Let's see if he can make him pay at the stripe and tie this game up. And that is something I've noticed, partner, is UNO has kind of started to not necessarily pile up the offensive rebounds, but their presence is certainly known. A lot of second chance opportunities for them. They create those second chance opportunities with that bigger roster that they have over Southeastern. Southeastern plays with a lot of guards. Sometimes they have all five guards on the floor. That's gonna lead to second chance points and offensive rebounds, but UNO doing a good job of getting those second chance points as well. Claire Joe. Almost stepped out of bounds, but he was forced out, in fact. And that's going to be a foul on Troy Green. In the first half, that was filled with high speed and high octane. A little slowed down second half here, Chase. Yeah, maybe both of these clubs need to catch their breath as they've been putting in work on the hardwood. And now Kirkland checks in for Tyson Jackson. A little size upgrade here for UNO. Now Okafor drives baseline. What a finish through traffic. Not even sure how he got that shot off, and he gets it to go. Okafor, such an athlete, driving to that baseline and getting what seems to be like an impossible shot off in the UNO defense. Now Hilaire with the feed down low. The Myers can't get it to go, and it's going to be out of bounds. Southeastern basketball. Good turn of events here for Southeastern as they get the ball back. Let's see what Eastman can draw up right here. As Caldwell's also in the game. The sophomore from Geisman, Louisiana. And Claire Joe with a nice drive and finish. And Southeastern extending the lead to four. Shout out to the Lions. They're finishing down low. Great. Taking high percentage shots and just shooting the ball well in the paint. And now St. Hilaire glides through the paint but can't finish and now a steal and finish by Kamani Dowdy. And UNO sticking around. Lions seemingly have been up for most of the second half but by no more than a bucket or two. And clears what a finish up and under with the left hand. Clears just saying St. Hilaire you might be the league score in the Southland, but I can score the Rock too. And now that's a foul underneath 
Simeon Kirkland withstood the contact. That was such a beautiful drive by Claire Zoe. Mentioned Derek St. Hilaire leading the conference in points per game at 20.8. Despite that statistic only being held to eight points here as this Lions defense has been fantastic in keeping him in check. This Lions defense has been stout tonight. And now cut to a two point contest. The Lions with the basketball trying to make this a two possession game. Nice find by Clarejo. Driving baseline, Roger McFarland withstands the contact and that's a blocking foul on Troy Green. Or excuse me, it's a charge on McFarland as Troy Green draws it. Great play by him to turn the ball over for his team. Nothing excites a coach more than a charging foul. And Schlesinger definitely happy Troy Green could take that right there. As our floor care lady there, mopping up the wet spot. The unsung heroes of any basketball game, the floor crew. Shout out to the floor crew. And UNO inbounds it. Bit of a push right there from St. Hilaire on Clarejo as he's motioning to Kiefer. He looks like he's trying to get up in his grill. And St. Hilaire kind of wildly just drives to the rim in between two people. He's more than capable of finishing, but a bit out of control. And now he's arguing with the official saying it was out on Southeastern. And now they change the call. And St. Hilaire almost lobbying with the official there and getting him to change his mind. It definitely looks like St. Hilaire helped the official change his mind on that last possession. And here's Troy Green with the basketball. And he finds the big, oh, and a big collision right there by Simeon Kirkland. And that'll be a charge. Gus Okafor took the brunt of that one. Okafor, 18 points so far tonight and taking the charge. He's definitely my player of the game. Yeah, Okafor has been huge for the Lions, as he has been all year long. And now the floor crew on the other end putting in some work. Give the floor crew a raise after this game. Definitely working hard. <laughs> yes, indeed. And Hinton testing out the spot. Looks like we're all good to go. Southeastern with a two-point lead, 6.22 to go in this huge matchup in the Southland. The home team has been up for most of it, and this has really been back and forth a great game as no team is led by more than eight. That's just one of those things you're gonna see with the two top dogs in the conference competing back and forth, close ball game. Gotta love it as it gets down here to wire. Now here's Jalen Hinton. Gives it to Roscoe Eastman, drives baseline, finds Burkhart wide open in the corner, can't get it to go, and now off and running is Dowdy. Gives it all oh, a monstrous jam by Simeon Kirkland. And the goal still seemingly shaking. What a thunderous dunk attempt. Definitely yanked it down there. The UNO bench is all fired up now as we're tied at 67 apiece. That'll for sure wake him up. As it certainly got us out of our seat. Now here's Clergio. Trying to create some separation. Picked up by Troy Green, a little screen by Hinton. And a step back three from Clergio. That's gonna be off the mark. And Dowdy comes away with the defensive rebound, gives it to his leading scorer, St. Hilaire. And now St. Hilaire, still with the ball, finds an open shooter in the corner, wide open off the front rim and no good. That was Troy Green. And now a loose ball foul as Calergio and St. Hilaire are having some words, and that's gonna be a technical on St. Hilaire. A little antics. And Calergio, that's a veteran play right there, smartly does not retaliate. And St. Hilaire lo losing patience right there. 
showing some frustration, possibly with not scoring as much as he's used to. And that's a costly mistake as Claire Joe and Southeastern will be shooting a technical free throw. Let's see if Claire Joe can make you an pay for St. Hilaire's mistake. Gotta love the back and forth between both point guards as we've been singing St. Hilaire's praises so much, but Keon Clergio, the senior, is really the heart and soul of this team. If you talk to Coach Kiefer, he's had a great season so far and definitely deserves praise as well. He's a, he's a quite a good player. Definitely, as he goes two for two here at the strike. And Southeastern will retain the basketball too with the technical foul. Start back play. And now, another stoppage. Not sure. I think it's a timeout, I want to say. A little bit confusion here on the court. Coach Kiefer won a last minute meeting with his crew. Yeah, Southeastern, Claire Jones and Okafor both wiping the sweat off with, with towels. And Claire's a beautiful pass to Okafor, wide open for three, off the mark. And Jamel Myers coming away with the board, Troy Green bringing it up. Great ball vision by Keon Claire Joe in that last possession. And Saki hot, had the hot hand earlier, beautiful pass to Troy Green and one. UNO bench loving it, and that's going to tie the game with a chance to take the lead. I was going to say, was wondering why Saki didn't shoot that three as he was open and he had the hot hand, like I said earlier, but great vision as he finds the cutting green who finishes through contact. And now completes the three-point play and UNO, just like that, back on top. As Kasperzik makes his way to the scoring table, as we all know, he's the line spark gun on both sides of the ball. And now Burkhardt beyond the arc, off the rim, hitting off his fingers. Okafor gets it, and his three-pointer's no good. And Troy Green took a spill. Surprise, there wasn't a loose ball foul on Burkhardt, but UNO comes away with the basketball. And now Kirkland hands it off to Saki. UNO doing a good job of waiting for the open pass, and there we go, just a little bit short. Yeah, Saki, another beautiful th feed, and Dowdy really should be finishing that. Beautiful find by Clergia, what a rejection by Dowdy as he rises to swat Hinton, and now we have a charge. Clergia finding Hinton, who was then rejected by Kamani Dowdy. His coach Kiefer thought he was fouled, looked like a clean block. And Southeastern finds themselves down by one after being up by five at the half. UNO outscoring them by six so far. With three and a half minutes to go, we're set up for a grand finale. Let's see if UNO can hold this one point lead as Claire Joe drives the cup and he gets to go to the line for two. Yeah, Claire Joe. That's what you want to do. Use your quickness and athleticism, putting his head down and going to the cup, drawing the foul on St. Hilaire. And didn't get the shot to go, but he'll have a chance at two points with the free throws. St. Hilaire back on the floor here for the Privateers after that technical foul a little bit earlier. Clear show with 13 points. Alliance have four men in double figures so far to the very balanced offensive attack. And Clear show knots the game at 70. Claire Joe's been shooting great free throws tonight for the Lions as well. And Claire Joe looking to have the Lions that take the lead. And he makes it. Lions back out on top. And now a little bit of a press here. And Claire Joe's gonna pick up St. Hilaire. And Troy Green now finds St. Hilaire. What a move by him. And a block by Jalen Hinton. St. Hilaire's fake shot in it and feed it. Fed it down low to Jamel Myers. And now Okafor out for three. Bang! Gus Okafor. And the 
the Lions extend the lead to four. Jalen hit with a big block on the other end, leads to an open four three. And that's almost been the story. And now Saki taking the ball out. Finds St. Hilaire, guarded by Kasperzik. And he gives it to Myers back to St. Hilaire. Little shake and bake, step back three. Well off the mark, good defense by Kasperzik who runs the floor ahead. And that's gonna be a rejection by St. Hilaire. Showing you the vertical jump. It will maintain, or the Lions will maintain possession. On that last year, no possession, maybe from St. Hilaire, I'm looking for an open shooter. You had a contested shot right there. The threes haven't really been falling for you tonight either. Southeastern now with the basketball as we're approaching the two minute mark, up by four, and a chance to extend this to a possible three possession game. Big trip down here for the privateer defense. Smart move by David Keeper here to just burn the clock, limit your possessions. And a beautiful tip in by McFarland. McFarland tipping it in, second chance points, and the Lions take a six point lead. Troy Green trying to draw the foul, got McFarland out of the air. Not enough contact, and Jalen Hinton comes away with the ball. The Lions up by six and the basketball having the number one team in the Southland on the, the Southland as well. And Corpus Christi with two players up there as well for assist and rebounds. Because this league really has some talent all across the board. And Casper's like a beautiful in and out on St. Hilaire, dishes to Hinton and that's gonna be a foul. Tyson Jackson committed the foul from Middle Tennessee State to transfer, and he'll be subsequently checked out of the ball game as Jamel Myers takes his place. Strong by Hinton to go up. He didn't get the bucket, but I love how he had both hands on that basketball, and he knew the contact was coming, and he withstood it, and he's going to the line. Look at that stat sheet. 10.7 boards, two assists, two steals, and two blocks. What is there that Jalen Hinton cannot do? Not much, Chase. Hinton, a great transfer, like we said earlier. He gets down there, takes high percentage shots. Great by Coach Kiefer and this staff to find this gym. And he converts on the free throw, extending the lead to eight, and it's now or never for UNL. Still a minute 22, but this is almost a must score opportunity, and Southeastern puts on the press. Troy Green breaks it. And he gets fouled by Okafor, doesn't get the layup to go, but he'll be headed to the line. Troy Green trying to spark a UNO comeback. And he makes the first free throw. If you want to come back in this game, these two free throws are super critical if you're the privateers. And Troy Green leads the Privateers in free throw percentage as an 85% free throw shooter. Very good on the year. See if he can knock down the second one. And that's all net. Lead is back down the six. UNO with a full court press. <laughs> full court press here by UNO, trying to limit Southeastern's chances of getting an open shot. Let's see if they can limit that. Now Jalen Hinton out to Okafor. As now there is a minute remaining in this ball game. And that's a foul. Jalen Hinton is clipped by Kamani Dowdy. And Southeastern's in the bonus now, so that will be automatic free throws. And the Lions are perfectly content with continuing to play back and forth at the free throw line with this sizable lead they have. And the first one rattles home off the front rim. If you're a coach, you gotta love Jalen Hinton. He's a fundamental player. He gets down low, gets second chance points. He scores in the paint. He shoots the free throw really well also. And he converts the second. Really a true tweener. 
He can play all five positions, cover all five positions. He can handle the ball, shoot, pass, defend. Really a Swiss Army knife for the Lions. And what a finish by St. Hilaire. Will that count? There was a foul. And that is an and one opportunity. Beautiful there from St. Hilaire's. He rises with a little fall away floater. And he'll be at the line looking for the three point play. And he's good. And now UNO sets up the press. Clairejo trapped in the corner, not where you want to be. Coach Kiefer has to burn it. Got to think, too, that's partially for his free throw ability. And there he is with the ball, trapped in the corner, splits the double team neatly, and Burkhart now to Clairejo. That's got to be a foul. Ooh. And that is a charge. And Kiefer cannot believe it. The whole arena kind of in shock here as they say Clairjot pushed off. Wow, well the referee was the closest, but I was in very surprised with that call right there. Certainly thought Clairjot would be headed to line, but that's a huge turning point. And now UNO could cut it to a one possession game. Big turn of events here for Southeast, and that's the worst thing that can happen. And Hilaire finishes just underneath Jalen Hinton. Trying to get another block. And Hinton will push the ball up and he's fouled by Troy Green. <laughs> now under 30 seconds to go. A three point lead for the Lions. Free throws will be crucial here if they want to come out with a victory. Let's see if Hinton can make this a two possession game. As you can see that stat sheet right there, 14 points, eight rebounds, two assists, two blocks, I mean three blocks and two steals. Hinton with the clutch free throw, extending it to a two possession game. See if he can add to the lead and make it a five point advantage for the Lions. If I'm UNO, I'm getting the ball in St. Hilaire's hands quick. Try to get some fast points. And Hinton is true on that one. 82-77 lead. Coach Kiefer is telling his side to back off, and St. Hilaire wisely calls a timeout. St. Hilaire with the inbounds right back to him, and he pulls up and gets the bounce. Big bucket. And that cuts the lead to three, and we'll take another timeout. Now just... A few seconds came off of the clock there, and resulting in a two, really perfect for UNO. If you know that's what you wanted, you have a one possession game, down by three. This is where Schlesinger's gonna make a big call right here. I would personally foul. And we look at the history, UNO has won the last three against the Lions. First meeting back in 2001, UNO took the 58 to 47 victory, and as we mentioned, the last meeting between the two, UNO came out on top 78 to 72. All right, and back to your point, UNO certainly will 100% go for a steal if possible, but if Southeastern is able to get the ball inbounded, then they must foul as the shot clock is turned off with 22.9 remaining. Jalen Hinton with this crucial inbound. See if he finds a teammate. And he gives it up to clear show, the home run past the hidden monster slam! Southeastern, just how they drew it up. Coach Kiefer with a great call out of the timeout. And now, Saki's gonna take it up the court. Give us it to St. Hilaire who fires a deep three off the front rim and Hinton comes away with the rebound. And now they've got a foul quick, you would think. And Hinton throws it to Clearjo, crosses half court in a hard foul. No call. 